Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own game using Unity as a complete beginner. So if you're new to Unity and want to know how to use it and how it works, watch until the end of this video to find out. Let's get into it. So first, to start using Unity, you need to download the app first. And to do this, you need to go to Unity official website and download Unity using the download for Windows or if you are on Linux or on macbook you can use the download other version after you hit download and it, you will have a uni hub setup file like that and you click on it and after you agree to the term of service and you will have the app open now it will ask you to sign in to your account here you can click on sign in go to email login and hit register if you're new now fill in the required information to continue and after that go back to unity and you will see that it will require you to download the unity editor and hit install and after a while you will have the unity app and running so it will depends the version that you're using it so currently i'm using 2020.3.20 Turn on F1, but you can choose any version you want. Now, you want to go to Project and hit, hit next, New Project. So you can choose 3D, 2D, or VR, AR, and many more. For now, I'll use 3D as a demonstration, and let's hit Create a Project. And when you hit Create Project, it will load a bit, and then there will be a Unity window open up. And after you it finished loading, you will have the Unity editor open. And after it finished loading, you'll have something like this. So first thing you want to pay attention to is the toolbar right here. It's called the transform tool and it consisted of a hand tool, a move tool, a rotate tool, and scale tool, and many more. The hand tool is you to drag the scene whenever you want to focus on so right now I cannot see the cube for example I can just drag the scene and I can see it the next is the move tool and when you select an object you can change its y x or z axis position you can also select one of the inside face like this and move it in the screen so next is the rotate tool and same as the move tool you can change it in the x y and z axis and to rotate an object using the rotate tool you can just drag a circle around the cube and just drag to your left right up or down and next is the scale tool and this one is used for scaling an object instead of just placing objects next to each other like this so for example instead of two cube like that I can just scale this object like this so or we can use a scale tool so instead of two cube I can just use my scale tool and scale it up and you can also scale it much more and this makes so that the scale tool is a very good way to scale your object in a very large size. Alright, so now let's focus on the scene and game section. So this section is for you to preview your game and also for you to create your map. There's also three buttons right here, which we just need to focus on the two button for now. So the first button is the play button. This is used to start your game. For example, I have my camera right here. So you can also see in the game section, which is the preview of what you're gonna see when you hit the play button. So for example, I'm gonna move my camera right here. And when you hit play, you'll see that the camera is in the exact position looking at the cube. Alright, the thirdly, we want to, we want to look at the hierarchy, which is located in the middle top of the screen. This is the main place where you work with your game object. 
and if you right click the hierarchy you can see there are many options that you can do so for example you can create an empty object 3d object effect light audio and etc so for example if i want to create a 3d object hover the mouse over the 3d object and select a cube sphere capsule cylinder and many more so if i select a sphere you'll see that i have a sphere like right here and you can also do this to a quad a plane a ragdoll terrain and many more and so you can also feel free to test the sphere or the object that you select with the transform move i just showed earlier for example you can scale the ball the sphere like this or like that or move the sphere to the left move it backwards and so on so to move in the scene so for example if you want to edit a section of your map instead of just the normal scene like this you can right click and you'll see there's an eye icon which will show that which when you move your mouse and right click at the same time you can see it around the map and combine this will with the WASD key you can move around the map and edit things and you can also use the shift key to increase the speed when you are moving around there are also axes right here for you to use if you want to just see one dimension for example if I click on the X you'll see that our screen just looking at the the x-axis direction and if I click Y you will see the same thing for the Y axis so moving on to the project and console section so the project section is for you to manage your file scripts materials and many more this will be very handy because this helps your project looks much more cleaner and more organized so I can create materials through C sharp script and even folders if I want my project to be clean. You can also drag in models that you download from a website to here and then put it into the scene directly and that will still work. And the console section is used when you are coding and if there are program errors it will show you the line that get errors and I will show you an example on the scene right now it will tell me that what script is wrong and what line is it wrong on alright so now to the inspector the inspector is located in the right center of the screen or right top of the screen and you can use it to edit certain components of your object so for example instead of actually using the move tool and the rotation tool and scale tool I will use the transform component of, of these objects to move it for example if I want to the, my object to move in a very precise value I can for example 10 or 20 or 40 or 30 and I can also change the Y and Z the same way and as you can see we are in a very round position which if you want to move it in a specific value and as you can see from the scale we don't see that this is two cubes it is just and if we want it to be exactly two cube we need to put it like this and for three cubes we just enter the value like this and it will change the scale of the object and the mesh renderer component is used for rendering materials so if you have a material when you create in the assets so for example I have a material called white or gray or something you want you can just drag it in and apply to this and you will see that the mesh renderer material is the same as the one in our assets there are also many component right in the add component section so feel free to experiment with it 
and so I will see you guys in the next video. This is the end of this video, hope you guys enjoy it. And in the next video, we are going to talk about how to create your first script with Unity. I'll see you guys there, bye!